FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for uh, TFNN. And for our mid-afternoon update, I posted the chart up here of Boeing Airlines because it's up 40%, folks, since October the 27th. I mean, it's hard to believe that it's up that much, but that's what it is, and it's a weighted stock. And, of course, they don't weight stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. They're based on Excuse, let's do that the right way. It's based on the weighting of the stock, which is very heavily priced at 248. It's not cap weighted. If you look at Boeing Airlines, it looks wildly bullish, doesn't it, folks? Let's just take a quick look here at the weekly, and you can see here, hmm, maybe there's something wrong at Boeing, but you know, right now everything's looking good, feeling good, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But we're going to find out what happens in here about an hour. We've got the Dow Jones up uh, a little bit today, S&P up slightly. Uh, everybody's looking for a slightly hawkish uh, report from uh, Jerome Powell. I don't think it makes any difference. I think we're going to see a spike in the S&P up just a little bit, maybe 47.17 to 47.37, somewhere in that ballpark, and then look out below. That's my guess. And the reason why I say that is I finished a lot of research over these last five or six days, and I think we're in for a big surprise. I probably am wrong, and I hope that I am. But no matter what, we're going to have lots of opportunities along the way. Uh, the uh, cattle trade has worked extremely well. We took big profits in that today. Also, the soybean trade worked really good. We missed the uh, euro trade by just you know 10 pips. And uh, the other trade that I really like today is the selling the uh, March Treasury bonds at 121.06. The number is 121.07. That's where I'm going to, so I'm going to shade it by a point. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to risk about 1000 bucks on that because it's going to be really wild, is my opinion. No matter what happens, folks, great opportunities coming uh, for the rest of uh, this year and then Early, I mean, the first three or four months of the year loaded with so many things that we're going to see volatility that's going to really, uh, really show uh, what stocks can do when they move the way they do. So we'll see. You know, one thing leads to another. One thing for sure, there's going to be patterns everywhere. Anyway, let's take a break. 8-7. Stan Harley's our guest today, by the way, at 1.30. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Everything in the universe.